My name is Rosemary Harrison. I'm 86, be 87 in December. When the war started, we didn't notice too much difference. But as it went on, we had all kind of things that we had to learn to live without. We had to stand in line for food. We had to stand in line to get gas for the car. And most of the time, we rode, we had wonderful bus service because we didn't have the gasoline to go around. There was a shortage of certain types of clothing. Women couldn't get stockings. We didn't have heavy coats or things like that because everything was concentrated on going to our people in the service. I went to school at Visitation Academy where the Visitation Convent today and every afternoon when I got off from class, at least a couple of afternoons a week, I would walk from the convent down to Providence Hospital which is now USA by Lions Park. And I would help out there because there was a critical shortage of nurses and doctors and those people were just stretched to the max. So that's what I did to help with the war effort. And I was very glad to help with that because the patients were very appreciative to have somebody to help them. I helped with delivering. I have worked naturally where I would deliver the food in the evening. I would give them, get water for them. I mean, some of them didn't even have water, you know, by their bed. And uh, I did all kind of things like that. Helped them with, uh, if the baby was in the room, I worked on the maternity floor. And it was not a happy floor because all of the men were gone. They didn't have a husband there with them to welcome that baby. They, uh, it was really very hard and hard time. And uh, so mostly I was there to help them with whatever they needed. I was spared a few of the undesirable things that had to be done because I wasn't old enough or trained enough. So I was very happy about that. Families were a lot closer. They were more helpful with each other. We had real community. It was a great time.